with mainstream support being done for SQL Server 2019, is it time to move on to 2022? So as we record this, it's April of 2025. There isn't a public release out yet of SQL Server 2025. There's supposed to be preview releases. They're usually supposed to, I say supposed to be, it's not like there's any kind of biblical playbook. In the past, Microsoft has done several preview releases. It's kind of it's like a, it's like my fingers are made out of hot dogs. They've done several preview releases leading up to the release to manufacturing. They may not do that. They may still do that. But if they do do that, and if they launched a public preview today, it still wouldn't be out until the end of 2025. I don't understand why they're doing this release stuff. Why would If I'm going to turn in my homework, I want my homework to look early, not late. If I'm going to turn out a version of, say, SQL Server, if I'm going to put it out in December of 2025, I don't want to name it 2025. Because by the time it gets to people's hands, they're like, oh, that's so last year. You know, we're already looking forward to 2026. I don't understand why they keep doing this. Um, so regardless, either where we're at is, I don't see a release to manufacturing of 2025 coming anytime soon. Having said that, your question is, when should you start moving to 2022? What's your rush? What is it specifically in 2022 that you're looking for that you need? If there's not something specific that you're looking for that you need, why not wait a few more months uh, and see what 2025 starts to look like? Because after all, it's not like you're doing these migration projects every day. It's a big pain in the butt to do migration projects. You want to do it once and then l wait as long, you know, be on there as long as you possibly can. Especially if, if I check my Apple Watch that you can't see on screen, if you're running SQL Server 2019 today, that's already six years old. I can tell, Speedy, that you don't do upgrade projects too often. Why not wait a little bit longer and see what happens with 2025? That's what I would do if I had the choice.